Today we are going to be talking about transmitting analog video signal over CAT5 or CAT6. The, we have already talked about pre-made cables, so we're not going to talk about those. We've already talked about a custom-made cable off of a spool, so we're not going to talk about those. And these are terminated CAT5 and CAT6 cables that are terminated for network connection, which is not what you are doing. That's more IP-based uh, signal, which we're not talking about. And so here we have CAT5 and CAT6. CAT5 I've splayed out for you so you can see each of the individual pairs and then each of the wires in the individual pairs. The CAT6 I've left whole so you can see the center uh, separator for CAT6. It is a plastic separator that keeps the twist in place and then twists it actually inside the cable too. So you have more interference protection on the CAT6. These are non-powered balins. They're actually considered transceivers because they're both receivers and transmitters on both ends and these have screw terminals these have push terminals just so you can see differences and they are marked positive and negative positive and negative so you just have to look on them to make sure you're connecting them the right way you have a powered transmitter that has video out um, from the cat 5 to the DVR and video in from the camera and this is a receiver which is video in from your camera and then video out to your DVR. This is just a regular analog dome camera so you can see 2.1 millimeter plug and coax. These connect directly so it makes it really easy for shorter distances. The, the powers and the hubs you normally have to have some type of a jumper for it, just a regular coax jumper to go one to the next. You have switches on here that set the termination for what you are sending it at transmission distance wise. And the hubs take 110 power. They normally have a power plug that comes with them. These take 12 volt on both, so you can use individual transformers or central power supplies for multiples. Okay, distances, non-powered. If you use non-powered on both ends, you can go about 700 feet. If you use a non-powered and a powered or a non-powered and a powered, you can go about 2,500 feet. And then if you go powered on both ends or powered and powered on both ends, you're about 6,000 feet. On the Cat5, on regular Cat5, which normally comes in 1,000 foot spools, you have four pairs of cables. So you can run four fixed camera video uh, signals off of that or two PTZs because you have to have video and data for your PTZs. They also make it in 2,500 foot distances and 25 pairs so it just depends on what you're looking for. And then on the hubs on the back you, ha you normally have multiple connections so you can just go bare wire into these or you can actually terminate it into a UTP which is an RJ45 and then these are your loop outs to the DVR so you can go much longer distances and I hope that helps.